Hi, I'm Chelsea Gardner, and the poem that I'm doing my second vlog on is Dusting by Rita Dove. I had to read this poem through more than a couple of times before I could really get a grasp on what it meant, which is true for most poems for me. So in this vlog, I'm going to do a quick analysis on what I derived from the poem. I'm going to start off with a quote from the first stanza of the poem, and it is, Patient among knickknacks, the solarium a rage, of light a grain storm, as her gray cloth brings dark wood to life. I think this stanza really brings imagery of cleaning or dusting. When my mom would dust, she would carefully move all the figurines or knickknacks out of her way, and when the light was just right, you could see all of the dust particles floating around her dust rag or as in the poem they say grainstorm, so that's what I kind of took from grainstorm. And then one of the key lines in this stanza is dark wood to life, and it's as if the dusting is restoring youth to the wood. I think this could be symbolism for the Beulah or married one. She's cleaning the dust from her memory and trying to recall a boy's name as we find out later in the poem. And I think it's clear that they met at a carnival or fair. That silly boy at the fair with the rifle boot. The boy that she's talking about is most likely a worker at the fair, so he wouldn't have been in town for very long. So their relationship was more of a crush or fling. Maybe it was like a first love type of thing for Beulah, and that's why she remembers it. Another interesting line in the poem is the line that says, Not Michael. And I think in this line we see Beulah really racking her memory and trying to remember the name, which I think we've all done at some point in our lives. Like we know it, and it's like on the tip of our tongue, but we can't quite remember it. Another quote from the poem is, And his kiss in the clear bowl with one bright fish. Usually at carnivals they have the game where you can win a fish by like tossing a ping pong ball into the bowl or other ways. And that's what I thought of when I read this line, because they're on the carnival topic. And then later in the poem, Beulah actually mentions the bowl again. Rushed the bowl to the stove, watched as the locket of ice dissolved, and he swam free. This line to me symbolizes Beulah's foggy memory thawing, and the name is becoming very clear, or she is very close to remembering the name. It's kind of an epiphany moment for her. Another line that I want to talk about in the poem is, Father gave her up with her name. I think these lines are referring to Beulah's marriage and her current husband. And because at a wedding, the father of the bride typically gives his daughter away. And also the line talks about her last name, and her last name would have been changed upon marriage as well. The last couple of lines of the poem seem to have a more depressing tone to them than the rest. In the previous stanzas, they were reminiscing of youth and young love, but in this stanza, it seems gloomier. It uses words like desert and shadow, which to me are not really happy words. Finally, in the last line, she recalls her young lover's name, and it's Maurice. And I think this moment is like the ultimate epiphany moment, and she's finally recollected what the name was and she can go on with her life and continue doing her chores. Overall, I think this poem is about being nostalgic and reminiscing on easier and happier times, all while going through the monotonous task of everyday chores. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you.